Welcome, birthday people. All right, so we have one, um, one um, Aries that is having birthday on the 19th, but you are like a Taurus. So you could pass off as a Taurus Aries. So happy birthday, happy birthday um, um, to um, the people who were born 19 April until the 25th. So happy birthday to each and every person. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back and coming back in order to um, begin your solar year. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your solar year, okay? This is the um, where you're going to be beginning your year 2021, all right? So, you should have um, writing down and manifesting from last week in order to accelerate and get in at this year on a powerful, powerful note. All right, it is here when um, a whole lot of problems where you're going to be dealing with the energy of the devil, a lot of money, people are going to be finding out how a lot of money was stolen or you did not receive a lot of money. Um, people are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a fraud um, that was transpired. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that you have lost some money. Um, this is the sensual energy for each and every person. People who are born on the 19th until the 25th. This is the central energy for the people who were born on um, 2021, 22. It's a year of duality. Now, when we have this year of duality, ladies and gentlemen, what this is saying is that a year of duality is showing you the good and the bad. It's about learning about... Uh, the positive and the negative, okay? The energy of the devil is in this year. But as you look, a tower moment is coming down and you're going to be overcoming whatever the issue and the problem is that you Tauruses was dealing with. The only areas we have here, you are um, having the energy of the sun, um, some sort of an information. Your energy is going to be very high in this year, but we're going to be looking at that. So we're looking at the central and seeing what the energy of this year is. And it has the energy of the devil, the four of pentacles and the four of swords. Now, let's regain and understand what is the energy of the four of pentacles. It is always uh, the energy of uh, sun in the Capricorn. OK, so some of you could have uh, have some sort of a run in with a Capricorn. Um, they're going to be now recognizing what has transpired. The Four of Swords is in the reverse. A lot of you, the Four of Swords um, is the energy of Jupiter in Libra, some sort of a legal issue could be coming up with a Capricorn. Um, so the energy of the devil, they're going to be recognized some sort of a false play um, that you guys could have created for a Capricorn. Um, some of you, this is about money, business, money, and that sort of a thing. Now, when we have the fours, this is about um, some sort of a problem with money, but money is going to be good, but information is going to be coming out and you're going to be recognizing how you have lost a whole lot of money because people are going to be recognizing and finding out some sort of a information that a lot of you were not aware of. Then when we look at the cross, I see the energy of some sort of a family issue is in a reverse. Um, the energy of uh, family issue, friends, problems with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man is going to be coming up where a lot of you have some sort of a financial problem with this man. You could recognize that this man has stolen a lot of money from you. It is going to be coming out because people are now going to be recognizing the horrible play of this man and whoever this man is. Um, a lot of you, um, people are going to be asking to collaborate with you and is going to be wanting to work with you. And um, I see um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is going to be offering a lot of you love. It could be your mother, mother-in-law, whoever this person is. I see this person is going to be coming up and offering a lot of you a whole lot of love. So um, a lot of you, um, it could be your father, your mother, your father is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Whoever this person, these people are, I see you could be having some sort of an effect. A lot of you are going to be having issues with parents, but I see the nurturing side 
um of uh, this woman is going to be bringing a lot of possibility in the, the world of uh, you um birthday people okay so um this is really really um positive a lot of you whoever this Pisces cancer scorpion person is is going to be wanting to either collaborate with you or either combine something with you in order um to create some sort of a possibility in your world okay all right, let's look at something else that we see. So I see some sort of a family issues. Light has been shed. They recognize that an Aries, the or a Sagittarian man have created a whole lot of problems um, for a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman and her, and, and her family. Truth is now being revealed. A tower moment is going to be coming down. And I see a whole lot of information and data is going to be released uh, um, and they're going to be recognizing that friends, uh, friends together was collaborating and creating some sort of an issue, a problem that has to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Cap, uh, a Aries, the Aries, Sagittarian man and his friends and family have created a whole lot of problems. So a lot of you can recognize uh, the play of this person. Now, if your mother is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman, whether this person is, this woman is going to be standing her grounds, showing up some sort of information and data that was going on. And I see a lot of you are going to be regretting and, um, uh, you know, heartbreaks for this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian person, whether this person is and whatever this person was doing, a whole lot of heartbreaks because they recognize some sort of a foul play of this person. So a lot of you are going to be dealing um, with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, an Aries, the or a Sagittarian person. And as you recognize, this person is in the reverse and this person is heartbroke and have some sort of a regret. But I see you Tauruses or not because you Tauruses have found some sort of information, data that tell you something about what this person was doing. Now, whoever the story is, Virgo or Capricorn is, it could be you ladies getting some sort of information and having data and information that you're going to be showing up something. But as we look and recognize what is transpiring, a lot of you, people are going to be wanting to collaborate with a lot of you. I see heartbreaks could be coming up for a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, or this person is as if, uh, you know, figure it out for yourself. Um, some of you, this could be a family member, and these two are friends or sister or brother, and you're like, figure it out for yourself. I see um, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person is moving forward. They're showing, they're coming out, and you, t you, you guys are going to be coming out on top and reveal um, some sort of an unconventional play of a um, Aries Lee or a fire sign person. So it's a year, you can see these energies that is happening and transpiring, is that in this year, people are now going to be recognizing um, the truth about family member. A lot of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. It doesn't have to be family member, it could be friends. Um, they're not showing up who they are, but... Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's a pisces cancer scorpion person then we see the energy of uh, um an aries the or sagittarian person and this person is now a heart broken because they recognize so something that this person was doing and you know every one of you are going to be affected by all of these energies because each and every block each and every column is seen as the monthly energies for you guys in this year you're connected to the solar year so how it works is that people um if you were born on this is 19 20 21 22 this is essential of the year that is going to be affecting a lot of people and how this works is that the 22nd the next month is uh, um, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. All right. So a lot of you who were born on this is ending up in April where lights is going to be shed on friends. So, so this is a solar year. OK, it is a 12 months uh, um, energy. And um, this is why I say to a lot of people, Order your birthday reading because it's the same way, but with the birthday readings, you get to see what is coming up in your 12 houses, okay? 
um and in your birthday reading um it's deep it's very deep you get all information in order to guide you so check out the birthday readings i think they're 85 dollars or 85 euros it doesn't really matter it's the same price um whatever site you are on all right so wonderful alignment of energies let's go into reading people who are born on the 19th of april there is going to be some sort of information that is going to be coming out about a family and uh, uh, whoever this family is a lot of you Aries um because you're on the cups of Aries stories so you have uh, half Aries half Taurus in your chart and a lot of you Aries could be using the energy of uh, the Taurus woman um and I see whatever is transpiring there's going to be some sort of information that is going to be coming out about your family now the energy of the sun it can be if your mom is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person this person is going to be feeling much better I see some sort of an issue in the family that, that has to do with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person um but what we're recognizing is that you're going to be trying to resolve this situation and trying to bring back some form of balance in the situation in order to accure, uh, um, accommodate you moving in um, and uh, um, getting you ready for this new solar year because this is when your year 2021 begins. So, um, you know, it is going to be a situation where you're dealing with family and friends in this year and um, information about family and friends that you are going to be recognizing or finding out maybe for the first time so it is all about family and friends issues that is going to be coming up in this year um money is not showing up and um it is good to go and check out the business reading in order to recognize if there is going to be any money or um you know it is good to order your own business information because um this is our, our money reading because this is where you see but with the birthday reading so you would get the general look month to month bow, uh, bow and uh, you also have love and money and that gives you a 12 month focus of your love and money so what we're seeing here um especially for your aries you last aries um is that uh, um, you are going to be dealing with a whole lot of family issues. You're going to be finding out um, things about your family, um, uh, things about uh, a family friend, uh, things about your friends and family. It is going to be a year that is going to be affecting the energy of your friends and family. And uh, business people, I see a whole lot of problems uh, um, with friends and family if you do business with friends and family I see a whole lot of problems is going to be coming up all right let's see what is coming out yes this is a karmatic year for a lot of you health issues with your parents um, your mother could be having some sort of a health issue um, that is going to be transpiring you women could be having health issues that could be transparent, so be aware of this. So you recognize that this year is going to be some sort of a year of karmatic issues, but also health issues that is going to be coming up for female. It could be female problems or female older um, that could be playing out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move to the people who were born on the 20th. Happy birthday, you Tauruses. So on the 20th the year, for you guys is that light is being shed on your family some sort of a problem and if some of you have a family member that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to be finding out um some sort of a detail about this uh, this family member or it could be someone that is uh, um entered your family whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring they're going to be recognizing um the the fault plane or this person did not give out data and data is coming in and people are sh and light is now shedding on this uh, Aries the or fire sign man family and data about this man family and now people are recognizing who this man is so it's about this year is going to be for you Tauruses that is born on the 20th it's about light has been shed on a, a family member or someone who was married to in your family and information is going to be coming out about this person that a lot of you had absolutely no idea who this person is and was and what was happening and transpiring so um i see that you're also going to be recognizing the friend of this person 
Um, is it your brother? Is it a family member? Is it a uncle? Who is this person? Light is going to be shedding on their friends too, and people are going to be you not know, recognizing who this person, their family, and their friends are. And I see a lot of you Tauruses are going to be having information um, that you had uh, no idea. It's as if this information is going to be falling in your lap. So the energy of the hermit is always about light has been shed on a situation and a whole light is going to be shed on a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion is, it could be um, your child, whether this person is a whole lot of light is going to be shedding on a scorpion and their family. And they are going to be recognizing whoever the scorpion is uh, that uh, um, uh, Aries Lee or Sagittarius man had um, communicated and give the scorpion information that was not true. So they're going to be recognizing that an Aries Lee or Sagittarius man had lied to a scorpion and give information to the scorpion that has created a whole lot of problems in the family. And a lot of you Tauruses is, is going to be recognizing this it's as if some of you Tauruses were having some sort of a problem with your kid that is a scorpion. They're going to be recognizing that this man has given an, uh, um, a scorpion and a Pisces uh, information and data and uh, communicate things that was not true. And I see that family and friends are going to be recognizing and seeing the play of this man and how this man has created a whole lot of issue for your family. So it's going to be a very emotional year for a lot of you. And this year is going to be extremely emotional. And it, this year is going to be affecting kids, but also affecting a lot of you where emotional instability because of things um, that people say that was not uh, true and has created a whole lot of issues in your family. And they're going to be now getting to the bottom of it and recognizing that an Aries Leo fire sign man is the one that have lied and create a whole lot of chaos for your family. Okay. And friends is going to be showing up and it's as if family friends could be telling you, hey, um, you got to be aware that this man has been the person that has been corrupting a family and has been creating a whole lot of issues in a family. So hold on tight. You could be shedding light or light could be shedding. It's all about family, family issues. And it's all about an Aries or Sagittarian. Um, they are not recognizing who this person is, but this person is connected to your family. Um, and this is the person that has been creating a whole lot of issues. Okay. I see an end is coming in. A fast end. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in that a fast end is coming in to some sort of a friendship in this year. So be aware, Tauruses, that you are going to be ending this, this friendship, um, with this person, whether it was, uh, this Aries Lee or Sagittarian person was a family member or not, you're going to be ending um, the situation because they're now recognizing what this person has done. All right, congratulations. All right, so we're moving forward to the people who were born on the 21st, 21st of April. A tower moment is coming down for your friends. So ladies, ladies, your friendship is going to be blowing up. A lot of you ladies, your friendship is going to be blowing up. I see you're going to be holding on to your money and you have no regrets. You have no regrets that a huge tower moment is coming down on your friends because I see a lot of you ladies is going to, uh, ladies is going to be recognizing, hey, you have turned your back on your friends and you're focusing on you, focusing on creating better stability and uh, in your world and you're recognizing that whoever these friends is and these people they were no friends they were associated uh, associate um associates who were just trying to um you know jump on your wagon to see whatever they could have picked from your um fruit wagon off uh, these people were um like leeches and i see you have turned your back and i see a whole tower moment is coming down on them and i see you're balancing now out your financial um, situation now and you're recognizing um what was happening the emotional situation the problems the issue 
and the emotional situation that was going on. You're going to be leaving this behind and hold on to your money and protect your money. So money is going to be good for um, people who were born on the 21st of uh, April. It's going to be a year of where your money is going to be coming back in balance. A lot of you who were married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man, a terrible moment is coming down on this man. They have found data and information of, um, um, where this man have been stealing some sort of a, um, people, either people, people posts. This man was taking and stealing people posts and they're now recognizing they have a, uh, recognize that this man have uh, either changed some sort of a post address uh, and this man this Aries Leo Sagittarius man was the man that has been accessing people posts and is taking people letters I see a huge tower moment so it could be um your postman or postwoman um or it could be a, um um someone or it could be like um someone in uh, the vicinity is as if they're investigating. Some of you could have been having problems where you were not receiving your mail and they recognize that an Aries or a Sagittarian man was the person that has been taking your mail and people are going to be um, finding this out and it's going to be recognizing that this man has been stealing people identity by taking their mail okay so it's about um a whole lot of letter they're going to be recognizing that this man whoever this man is as a whole lot of mail you know the mail that comes to your home via um the mailman the postman they're going to be recognizing that this may this man has a lot of data on a lot of people and they're going to be finding out how i see a huge tower moment is coming out for this person and i see a lot of you don't really care about this person um whether or not it's your father or a family member whoever this person is you're not really caring about this person because you're recognizing that this person has been basically fraudering or taking data and information of people and situation and you're going to be bringing back this imbalance in this year so it's a it's about a lot of information coming out about a man and i see money money is not going to be a problem in this year um money is going to be good um um they're going to be um making sure that an aries or sagittarian man um return a whole lot of money to you because they're now going to be now recognizing the disturb um of this person and that this person has been stealing people um data and information and was receiving a lot of money all of this money is now going to be returned to you all of this money okay so congratulations again so you guys who are born on 21st of april your year is going to be looking good a whole lot of money is going to be returning up to you let's move on to the people who were born on the 26th the 26th of april uh the 22nd of april whatever is happening on the 26th 22nd of april the energy of the devil the energy of the devil and they're going to be recognized that an aries or sagittarian man has collaborated and work with other people in order to create some sort of a problems and issue and this is what i'm saying to a whole lot of you whoever this aries or sagittarian man is has been affecting a lot of you tauruses so it could be a business partner part or a brother or a friend that you were dealing with money sits good money is good there is no problem with money for you guys in this year um a lot of you are going to be creating a lot of money but i see a sharp a fast and a towel moment coming down on this aries or sagittarian and the network and collaboration and i see you tauruses are sitting there and said yes you deserve this i don't know what this person has done to a lot of you whether it's your ex-husband or whether it was a brother or a family member or a boss whoever this person is but you're going to be sitting down there and said yes you expect you deserve this for what you have done and created for other people you need to really pay back your karma the energy of the devil is there and you know you're going to be sitting down on your money and it doesn't really matter what is going on a lot of you are going to be facing the music and said hey you know pay me back my money give me back my money a lot of you are going to be taking this person 
um to court to so that you get back your money a lot of you're recognizing the really horrible way whether it's your father or a family member or a brother the horrible way that this person has got money out of a lot of people and the disturbingness of this person and whoever you Taurus is or that is born on the 22nd you're going to be dealing with dualities and you're going to be making sure that this man or this yeah this man paid for what he has done money looks good a whole lot of information is going to be coming out and if you had some sort of a legal issue peace is going to be coming in you're going to be winning because i see that you're definitely definitely going to be giving up an aries leo or sagittarian person in order to get out of some sort of a um pro problem that you're in so it's as if a lot of you are going to be recognizing that an aries leo or sagittarian a man has been your biggest, biggest um, enemy and has been using his ego in order to block and work against you. And now a tower moment is coming down. All right. All right. I'm going to, um, I'm going to give you your numbers. Um, the energy of the devil is always uh, 15, 1, and five, which is six, it's always about money, materialistic stability. And that is going to be good. Whatever conflicts you were having, peace is coming in, and I see peace is going to be here for you guys. So it's a really powerful year. And whoever this man is, uh, is, is if some of you were collaborating, could be a father figure also that has used your information in order to acquire some sort of a, a light is now going to be shedding on this person and his wife and what it is he and his wife has done. All right, congratulations. Let's move on to the people who were born on the 23rd. If you were born on the 23rd of April, um, I see you're working with the energy of the magician and it's a powerful, powerful energy working with the energy of the magician because I see money is going to be returning and financial stability is going to be coming up for you guys also. And, and I think that that, you know, you, you, um, have the energy of the second house, you Tauruses or the second house. Money is always, uh, um, you know, what the the life force of you Taurus is um and this is going to be good a lot of you Tauruses if you're thinking about starting a business yes 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 a lot of you Tauruses that was uh, um married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person I see you are turning your back on this person I see this person wants to offer a lot of you Tauruses a lot of a uh, new start and uh, hoping for some sort of a new start with you you Tauruses have made a decision that you're moving forward this could have been, this woman could have been your mother or your child's mother. And you are recognizing there is no way I should go back and start anything with this woman because it's not, um, it's not viable. It's that this woman always wants some sort of, uh, um, new start and that sort of a thing. And you're going to be recognizing, no, this is unconventional because we keep on going on at this and this is not working out. The energy of the magician is going to make you a very lucky in this year. So whoever was born on the 23rd of uh, April, you're going to be extremely, extremely lucky. And, and if you decide to have a little business on the side, go ahead, because this little business is going to be making a whole lot of profit for you. A lot of you are no longer regretting, regretting over a situation that has gone wrong. I see um, a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming um, some sort of an undesirable situation, very, very successful, um, overcoming some financial hiccups that was there. And uh, you are going to be flowing. And when I say flowing, flowing, your financial flow is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And the financial hardship that a whole lot of you were going through, you're going to be over this. And it's as if uh, the uh, magician of wave the magic wand whether or not you're creating for yourself or you're starting your own business, you are not going to be having financial issues as you leave your birthday until the year 2022. So this is going to be a really, really positive time um, for you. Um, Taurus is that is born 23rd of December, 23rd of um 23rd of April. It is going to be, and whatever is transpiring, 
uh, 23rd of December, something good could be happening for you guys. So um, open up to the energies because you're 23rd off uh, and December is the Capricorn. So uh, you Tauruses, you could be having some sort of unexpected uh, um, surprise on the 23rd of December. So write this down in your calendar because whenever it comes out like this, because I channel, that means some of you need to um, receive this message that on the 23rd of December, something magical is going to be happening um, because you're going to be overcoming some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring in your world and your financial situation, all right? Um, so, um, you know, you guys, you know, working with the energy of the magician and the three of pentacles, um, that is so good because it's always um, positive because you're an earth sign person, your money is up and Whatever financial hardship there was is now down. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So you have five and three, which is eight, and the magician. An end to a cycle duality that was um, some of you were dealing with. This is absolutely fab. Um, there's no question about this. This is absolutely fabulous. So um, you guys are going to be good. We're moving forward to the people who were born on the 24th of April. Congratulations. I know you, you listen. Happy birthday. All right. So the people who are born on the 24th of April, a lot of you um, are going to, a conflict is going to be over. Um, that is the first thing. Um, so a lot of you women could have been having conflicts with either a sister or, uh, uh, or your mom. This conflict is going to be over. A lot of you were um who collaborated with some sort of a business deal with a pisces cancer scorpion person this is going to be over whatever that was happening and transpiring i see people are going to be now recognizing that a whole lot of people have collaborated information is going to be coming out um people are going to be led um giving up information um and uh, um Peace, peace is here. It's like this year is going to be a very peaceful year for a lot of you. Money is looking good also. And I see the energy of uh, a lot of you could become mothers. Okay. A whole lot of you could become mothers. So a lot of you who were having um uh, relationship problems and that sort of thing is it, going to be over. So um that is good. And I see a lot of you um who were having issues and problems. So with either getting pregnant, that sort of a thing, or um, issues and problems with your mom, your grandmother, um, you know, you're going to be taking on the role. It is going to be a year of love for you guys, okay? It's as if you're going to be letting go of the issues that was created, and it's just going to be taking your time and really letting go and just recognizing, you know, love is love is the most important thing and love break all barriers and all boundaries and that is what you're going to be facing a lot of you could be meeting a pisces cancer scorpion person this person is going to be offering a lot of you a whole lot of love because they're going to be now recognizing um that uh, um there has been uh, um a whole lot of uh, unconventional situation that has transpired with you and transpired in your world. And this person is going to be recognizing, you know, this this person needs some sort of a love and protection and they're going to be opening up their arms to you. Any relationship problems, any heartbreaks, any loss in the, the, in the past, um, you are going to be recovered in the future. A lot of you are going to be recognizing um, that you're going to le learn to love yourself in this year. So we see three, twice three, 33, 33. So it's Venus. Um, you can see that the energy of Venus is really um, protecting a lot of you. Um, so we have the energy of three and three is the Empress. And that is saying that your materialistic stability is also going to be good. Um, but also what it is saying is that uh, um, love, learning to love yourself, but also the energy of Venus and anyone looking for a relationship, it is going to be a powerful year because the energy of Venus is your um, planetary aspect, but also Venus is going to be coming in to help you guys out with your materialistic stability and also learning 
love, but also sending love to you. Powerful love, okay? So, um, number 21, a block. So, no more loss, no more hurt, no more pain. This year is as if all the loss, the pain that you have been going through, it is going to be now coming to an end. Um, this is the year where you're going to be cleaning up a whole lot of emotional situation and it's going to be choosing for love instead of the pain that you have been going through. You're going to be letting go and choosing for love. So this is going to be good. So money and love is going to be good for you guys. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, all right, let's move on to the people who were born on the 25th. As you were born on the 25th of April, I see whatever financial problems that you were having and uh, it's going to be over. I see you're going to be very successfully overcoming this. I see new love is going to be coming in. I see a lot of you are trying to balance out financial issues between you and family and friends, and that is going to be good. I see you're bringing back balance in your world, especially women with kids, women that was having problems with their sisters or their mothers or a friend. I see that you're going to be like taking the higher road in dealing with certain issues and problems, very much taking the higher road in accessing problems and issues that was going on. I see um, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person in your life is going to be blocked. Whoever this woman is, I see heartbreaks for this woman and this woman is going to be blocked. Whatever this woman have done to a lot of you Tauruses or, um, you know, whether it was your wife, this Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman or this Aries, um, this woman, whatever this woman has done to a lot of you Tauruses, it could have been your mom that you have just an horrible relationship with and I see you're going to be choosing to move forward with love it could be a sister it could be a family member but they're now it's as if something happens to them uh, in the, this year that is that is affecting them that they're going to be recognizing hey I really didn't um, treat Tauruses very properly or I have uh, created a whole lot of issues for Tauruses which was uh, you know, not really positive, that sort of a thing. And I see um, they're now going to be recognizing um, what they have done. And I see really a block is going to be coming up on this person. So a lot of you Tauruses are dealing um, with women, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, women, Aries, the Earth, Sagittarian woman. I see that a, um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman is going to be throwing a Aries, the Earth, Sagittarian woman under the bus. So, um, kind of figure that out. Who are these two people? Whether they are family members or they are your sisters, your siblings, or, or it could be your mother and her sister that is going on to it. But a whole lot of problems is going to be transpiring. And this is what I said is going to be between friends and family um, this year that is going to be affecting a lot of you. A lot of you are trying to balance out your heart chakras and that this is going to be very good. And once money is good, um, I see that is when people start to work on their emotional instability and trying to mend friendships and relationships. And I see um, this is the direction that you guys are going to be going in in this year, okay? So be aware of uh, this. Uh, all right, so I see an end is coming up for Aries Lear, Sagittarian person. You guys have number 14. 14 is five transition. Um, a lot of you could be ending a marriage with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. A lot of you could be ending a marriage with an Aries Lear, Sagittarian person. Um, but it is a year of transition. Some ending is here for these people because they have recognized uh, who these people are and what these people have done. They are now getting to the bottom of uh, um, a situation and is recognizing that two women uh, have basically been going at it either by themselves or over it. So I see a lot of you could be ending, ending marriages. A lot of you are going to be just ending your marriages, ending um marriage problems um ending relationships uh, um and th there is still sort of an ending that is coming up and you 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 can recognize in that the ending that is coming up is 
a lot of you could be just divorcing a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman and a lot of you are really um, ending a relationship with an Aries or a Sagittarian person and I see that this is uh, um, what is going to be affecting majorities of you. So remember, each and every person um, work on this bowl by bowl, okay? And when we said bowl by bowl, each and every person work on all the issues that is coming up and is transpiring and they are now recognizing and you are going to be recognizing how very wonderful this year is for a whole lot of you there's no uh, there's no questions um that is here you're going to be recognizing that this year is going to be beautiful very beautiful for a lot of you and uh, um you know congratulations Tauruses. go check out your Taurus um, season reading. Um, it is good. This is your soul the year. It's not too late to order a Taurus reading. It is $85. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of clients have been uh, working with me on the birthday readings because uh, you, your year begins the day or the week, 10 days before your birthday. Okay, that's where you can always manifest things. And um, how I do the birthday reading is so good. And a lot of people said, we have never, ever seen this. And it is just on point. Is that I the birthday reading is programmed on who you are as an individual. And you work with that month by month. Um, and you recognize where the issues are coming up with who. And you could resolve them before this person um is aware of this and that's why a lot of business people um do three months reading with me um because they have an insight of where their business is going in so business people is always like three months but for you birthday readings and if you're doing it for yourself private it is eight five dollars and that gives you everything that is coming up from um may right back to april of the other year because that is your solar year your solar year do not begin on um january 1st because you are a taurus and your solar year begin on the april 20th okay so check out the birthday regions 85 dollars is always good to give yourself a gift people are always giving other people gifts so, um these birthday readings and it's, it's just unbelievable you have it as long as you want to go back and uh, look at this reading um and i say to a lot of people readings and this is why i do birthday readings only by um videos um because people can have it to go back and look at i do love you guys a lot of the blocks the problems the heartbreaks is going to be ending a lot of information is going to be coming in about friends um friends that has created a whole lot of issues for a lot of you but this is a beautiful solar year because twice the end of money is in this year and it's going to be affecting everyone okay so the people who were born um let's say on the 20th of april money is going to be coming in may and it's a whole lot of money that was owed to you um that is going to be coming back so you know that's how the cycle goes on because it's a solar year and it's a cycle I do love you guys. I gotta go. I am saying namaste until next time.